Hi, I'm Clay Carlino and I'm not terribly healthy right now. That's not going to stop me from doing a video about something that I saw online that I'm a little bit skeptical of. With uh, all the hurricanes and everything, people have been putting things online about life hacks to use in an emergency and one that I've seen is where you can take crayons and burn them if you don't have candles. So I thought I'd try it out. And you see, I tried it once, but uh, I, I'm, I don't know that this is really a recommended thing. Here, uh, let me show you how it's supposed to work. You, uh, you have some kind of a, you know, base. This is metal, and then you see I heated up the end of that crayon. Oh, let me do that again. Yeah, just use fire to heat up the end of the crayon and stick it on here. And now the premise is that the paper acts like a wick and the crayon is already made out of wax. So supposedly you can set this on fire I guess I maybe should have broken off the end of that or something, but no, oh, I think that it's. Is it? There we go. Well, it's certainly making a lot of wax. There we go. Okay. So. Supposedly, this will burn for uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I'm looking at it. Now, maybe my problem is that I used cheap crayons, not high-quality Crayola crayons. But um, it is burning, so I will say that part of the light pack works. But uh, look at what it's doing. Um, the, the last one that I burned started gushing wax like a volcano, and it eventually fell over and just turned into an almost uncontrolled fire. This one's doing better. Okay, it seems to be working. Well, it, it keeps going out. Um, let me knock down some of this burnt paper. There we go. Okay, so... Well, the, the staying lit thing uh, so far is... Uh, it's not working. But, I will say that this is better than the last one. Uh, the last one just kind of turned into an apocalyptic nightmare. All right. This time, I guess I'll try breaking off the end here so it doesn't have to melt as much wax. Uh, There we go. Okay, this is a little bit more like the volcano effect that I saw last time. I will say you got some nice heat off of this. Uh, might not be a bad way to start a campfire. Okay, now see, this is what I'm talking about. All right. Does this look safe to you? This does not look safe to me. I mean, if, I, if I'm in a crisis situation, yeah, okay, see? It, that's not cool. 
If I didn't have this on a really wide base, then this would just be an open flame. And now not only would I be flooded out, but my house would be on fire. So, I'm gonna say, no, no, this is not a good thing to do in a survival situation if you're, you're on a roof or stuck in your upstairs and there's no power. Don't, don't start setting crayons on fire, that's stupid. Just, now, I'll tell you what, if you want to keep these in your survival kit so that you can use them as fire starters, then great. But um, as a substitute for a candle, I think that one of those flashlights that has the crank on them so that you can charge it up, I think that's a much safer option. So. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, don't listen to the internet for information about how to stay alive. Oh, I guess that includes me. I, I don't know how to take that. Anyway, um, not listening to bad advice on the internet to stay alive. Yeah.